Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to hold your You come across a device cannot start error code 10 on your Windows computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to go ahead and start by opening up the start menu. Just off click on the start button one time. Type in regedit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best match to come back to Registry Editor. You want to right click on that and then left click on Run as Administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to go ahead and just left click on Yes. Before you proceed in the registry, I'd highly suggest you create a backup of it so if anything went wrong, you could easily recover it. So in order to create a backup, just would go ahead and left click on the File tab, select Export. For the File Name field here, I'd recommend naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Export range should be selected to all and then save it to a convenient location on your computer or external media. So once you've made your backup, we're ready to begin and that's going to start by double clicking or clicking on the little arrow next to HK local machine. So expand that. Do the same thing now for the system folder. So expand that one as well. Now it should be a current control set. You want to go expand that. And now there should be a control folder underneath current control set. Expand that one as well. Should be a class folder. Expand that. And now while you have the class folder selected here, you want to go ahead and left click on the edit tab. And then select find. Now I'm going to have this in the description of the video. So if you're having an issue with your keyboard, you want to copy this top area. So this inside of this brackets. And if you're using a mouse, you want to copy this information. So we're going to copy, for, let's just say for the keyboard first, so we're going to just go copy this out of the notepad file. And then we'll go back in the registry, and then we're going to just paste it in here. Select Find Next. Should come back with a folder over here. So now there should be an upper filter on the right side. There should be an upper filter value in here. If not, you want to right click in a blank area. Select New, and then you want to select Multi-String Value. So again, Multi-String Value. Name it Upper Filters as you see on the screen here. And then you want to go double click on it. Whatever value data is in here, you want to just delete it. And now I'm going to have the keyboard multi-string value. You want to just copy it right here. So KBD class. And we're just going to paste it into the value data field here. Select OK. So it says data of reg multi SZ cannot contain empty strings. Registry editor will remove all empty strings found. Select OK. That's fine. And now let's say we're having an issue of our mouse. We're going to just do the same procedure we did the first time. So I'm just going to copy that. Back to the registry editor we go. I'm going to do edit, find, and now I'm going to paste in this new direction and select find next. Now on the right side there should be another upper filters. If not, again, right click in a blank area, select new, and then multi-string value on the right side here. So just click inside a blank area if you don't see it. Name it upper filters. And then you want to double click on that. Value data should say M-O-U-C-L-A-S-S. -S. Again, M-O-U-C-L-A-S-S. -S. Copy that. Put that in the value data field here. And then select OK. I'd make sure it's a lowercase here, so I'm just going to type it in. Here's it might be uppercase here, but I recommend doing lowercase. So I'll have that in the description of the video. So M-O-U-C-L-A-S-S, -S, lowercase. Select OK. Again, cannot contain empty strings. Registry editor will remove all empty strings found. Select OK. Once you're done with that, close out of here. Would suggest restarting your computer, and I also would suggest unplugging and plugging back in your optical devices if you're having an issue with it, so such as your mouse, keyboard, etc. So, pretty straightforward process here, guys. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.